Uh, my name is Brad Neems. Uh, I'm from Holland Electronics. We are a manufacturer of products for the cable TV, satellite TV, home theater, and broadcast industry. Uh, we support many of the products uh, that you're going to use for installation. And we actually OEM a lot of products all around the world for many of the uh, actual vendors that are here at the show as well. So as you can see, a lot of the things we have, we have our connectors, splitters, amplifiers, head-end gear, specialty components, meters, uh, just about everything that you're going to use to install any of the video signals that you're going to do. So just some of the customers that we do in all the different industries. So we are a supplier to, to DirecTV and to Dish Network, Comcast, Cox, AT&T, Time Warner. So all the major MSOs we are actually approved vendor for. So using our products is actually going to work very well for you because they're not going to come in and rip them out afterwards. We do manufacture uh, in different places around the world, mostly Taiwan and China. Um, we have our headquarters in Ventura, California. So we are a local company that is there to support you guys in anything that you might need. One of the things that's really unique about us and why we're used as an OEM manufacturer is because we do a lot of development for these companies. So we provide free engineering services so we're able to go in and design stuff to meet their needs. It creates a very unique environment. So that's why you can get specialty components in many of these applications. As I like to say, you may not know us, but you know our products. You go on the back of a DirecTV set-top box, and the F-connectors that are on the back of that box come from us. Back of a Motorola or a Scientific Atlanta set-top box, those connectors are ours. So there's a lot of places you'll find our products. You just may not notice it as well. We were first to develop a lot of very unique things, high return loss, you guys may or may not understand the technology, but the high return loss is very, very important, when, especially when you're talking about higher frequency ranges. It's about how much signal actually does not reflect backwards into your network. So high return loss products are very, very important. We're the first to develop that technology. Uh, the mini coax, and much, I'm sure much of you are using that in the uh, installs that you're doing because it's easier to run, it's great for behind the panels. So we're the ones who developed that entire product line uh, One-piece connectors, uh, you see our, our banner up here, I want my MCV, we're going to talk about uh, what that does for you as well. Uh, High-performance flat window jumpers, some very unique things that we've done, and some special tools. So Mocha specifically, what we've done is we've created the basic components that you need. You need good quality splitters. The main difference in a Mocha splitter and a regular splitter is we re reduce the isolation in the Mocha bands. So for DirecTV, the isolation is lower in that lower frequency range, the uh, 425, uh, 475 to 625 range. Um, for the Dish Network, it's up in the 800 megahertz range. But for cable, it has to be changed. You actually have to have a, a splitter no longer that works to one gig. It has to work up to 1.7 gig. So therefore, it's got reduced isolation. And the reason why you want the reduced isolation is so when you're coming from these output ports and that Mocha signal's coming around, you want it to be able to come in here and come out there as easily as possible. Now, the Mocha signals are very strong. So they can actually overcome a lot of the splitters that are on the marketplace, and that's why most installs aren't requiring that. But it does help, and especially if you have a splitter that's daisy-chained in a loop, you really need to have some uh, a Mocha enhanced splitter. Filters are very, very important. Uh, when you're installing uh, in a cable TV environment or anything that actually has a signal that can travel outside the house, you need to put a point-of-entry filter on the house at the DID box. This will, what this filter does is it basically is your fail-safe. It blocks that signal that would be coming through the house, blasting around, and from getting out into the network, so your neighbor's not going to watch what you're seeing. You, well, you can put the filters on set-top boxes and modems, and if you have an issue where the uh, Mocha signal is actually impeding those, those devices, some older televisions, some older set-top boxes, some older cable modems, that they can't handle the 55, 65 dB of signal that Mocha is broadcasting throughout the house. So at that point, you're going to put these these uh, filters in front of those devices. But the main point is that every cable TV company puts one of these on the outside of the house, basically right before the entry into the system. So as the signal's coming around throughout the house, it's right here at the wall. 
it comes here and it reflects all the way back. So it cannot actually get out because you never know what you're watching. You don't want your neighbors to see it. Amplifiers as well, specialty amplifiers are required. You don't really need them as long as you're putting an amplifier at the front end of it. So in other words, is if the amplifier comes from the, you got your signal coming in from outside, the amplifier's here, and then you have a network beyond that, any amplifier is gonna work just fine for that application because your mocha is all coming in through this side of it and it doesn't hit the amplifier chip. But if you're putting an amplifier somewhere down the line, if you have a large home or big property and you have to amplify that signal somewhere down the point, you need to have an amplifier that can handle the mocha signals because it is generally above the bandwidth that the amplifiers are working. The other thing I'll point out is DirecTV, Dish Network, they're closed systems and that's why you don't really need point of entry filters on those because their system is contained within the area that you're using it and it's only going to the actual devices that are designed to uh, entertain those signals. Well, Jamie and uh, Jermaine touched on this as well, your MOCA frequency allocations. Uh, again, there's the new satellite band uh, for uh, DISH Network, which is above this one. But it lets you know so what you have to accommodate when you're working with uh, the MOCA frequencies. Thank you. So five challenges of configuring a, a high-definition interactive coaxial network. No central distribution point. That's the biggest point is that if you don't have home runs from every location, this really can be your biggest nightmare because you, you have to accommodate signals going around and working with different devices. And properly configure networks so if you have devices in different areas, um, you're working with amplifiers that aren't uh, designed for it, a lot of this is going to come in and become a, a challenge for you. Hardware and compatibility, as I talked about, why you might need uh, point of entry filters on uh, different devices. So some devices that cannot handle the MOCA frequencies. New cable runs. Really, uh, it is best to home run everything that you do. Uh, you want to use, uh, some, especially some of the older homes, you may not have cable that's designed to handle 1600 megahertz. So a higher bandwidth cable is definitely going to help as well and signal leakage. This is actually something that you're going to hear more and more about over the next uh, next year is signal leakage and actually ingress and egress. Uh, some of the challenges that you guys are going to come across uh, is LTE signals actually interfering uh, with the broadcast channels because the, uh, the new LTE signals from AT&T and from Verizon are running between 710 and 800 megahertz. So the cable TV companies that have broadcasts in those ranges uh, are actually losing channels because of that. So currently they're moving them away, but you know they can only move them away for temporarily because they, they need that bandwidth for their uses. So devices that are going to help create uh, improve your signal uh, capacity without leaking out, without causing ingress or egress in your system are going to be very, very important. And Hall Electronics is launching a new product uh, at the Cable TV Expo, which is next month in um, Orlando, which uh, is called The Barrier, and The Barrier will be uh, a product that will help ingress and egress uh, issues as well. So, wrong installations in regards to no central distribution points. This little diagram you can see. If you, if you got a daisy chain of stuff, you have so much loss in here that it will impede your signal and create challenges for you working with it. So if you look at TV3, TV4, you got 19 dB of loss. Uh, generally when you're going through, you have a 55 dB signal coming out of a MOCA device. It goes back through splitters. You have 40 dB of isolation. You only have like 10, 15 dB of a bandwidth capable. So if you lose another 19, you're going to have a lot of challenges. To do it right, again, point of entry filter, home run it all and you look at your losses are almost nothing. I'm sure you guys know all about this, so it's really nothing new, but just trying to give you the, uh, some of the data that we've done for uh, many, many years. How can we help your system? Well, again, there's so many different ways that you can install the different networks. So the containment of making sure that all your signal is going back and forth to the right places, 
in the right directions. Those are very, very important aspects of things in that you want to make sure that the right devices are used. So this can communicate here and it doesn't have to go all the way around this way in order to do it. <coughs> now a couple other things that we do have that I wanted to point out. So besides the entry filter, uh, you saw one of our, uh, on the slide we had our flat window jumper. This is actually a DirecTV and Dish Network approved device. It's designed uh, when you cannot drill through a wall and you have to get the signal to go from outside to in. So this actually can go in a door or window jam and you can slam and lock the door on it and it stays in place. It's designed for 50,000 slams. Great product, really easy to use, almost no loss and allows you to get that from in and out. We also have a new one that we're actually launching for Time Warner Cable. It's actually a four foot version similar to this that allow you to go under carpet through a doorway. So if you want to go from one side of a door to another and not have to try to run over a door which is bad for cable bend radiuses, that's another unique product. If you want to see that, let me know. We do have the, uh, a sample of it here. Um, the other thing that we're, that we're uh, really showing off here at the show and why I mentioned uh, MCV, MCV stands for multiple cable versions. When you're doing Mocha installs, it's really important that you have good quality connectors. Again, signal leakage is a big issue. So we created a new product line that makes your cabling very, very simple. Doesn't matter if you're using plenum cable, uh, video uh, cable, so in other words, uh, more of a security light cable, which is only braid, no foil, or full foil or quad shield cable. We created a line of connectors that is so unique that it's really, really simple to do. How many people have done plenum cable here? How, is it easy to put plenum cable on a connector? I want you to try this. Put this connector on that cable. That's it, you're on. Doesn't matter if you're using the plenum cable or you're using a heavy shielded braided cable. Here, you can put that one on. You can see they basically will fall on the connector. What we've done is this cable, this product, it's a patented product, is we've removed all the insides of the cable, so another of the connector. So there's no ferrule on the inside. So if you look down here, you look down the inside of that connector, you're going to see it's wide open. The advantage to this is that it'll fit all different sizes of cable. So the same connector works on plenum that works on the 95% video cable that'll work on a, 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 a full-size 59 cable or a 6 or 6 quad, whatever you need. It's actually the most revolutionary connector that's been put on the marketplace. So three sizes of connectors that'll fit every 59 and 6 you have on the marketplace. Reduces the skews you need in your bags and makes it easy. Have you ever gone into a job, seen a cable in a wall, not quite sure what it is, but you can tell, okay, that's RG59 or that's RG6. Well, now you have a connector that'll fit it instead of having to call around and try to search for it. You can get your jobs done. Yeah, you can. So in other words, here you go. Same tool, just what's wrong. So the same tool, as you saw, this basically just falls on, okay? Our, our BNCs and RCAs are fixed pin. So here, let me uh, change the tip on the compression tool. Because this tool uses a, a different adapter for the BNCs and RCAs. You just put it in. Now feel. That's not going to come off. The whole idea is it makes it very, very simple to do. Then we also have some other unique tools, like we have our F connector tool, which allows you to, especially if you're working in cold weather, you can put this on, it spring loads it so it holds it in place so you have a nice big handle to hold on to when you're putting the connector on the cable. So a lot of different things that we've done. We have a catalogs here. If you just want to get scanned, we'll send you all sorts of information. But we're here to answer your questions and make doing your installs simpler and easier. Thanks, guys, for stopping by.